So now in this video, we're going to look at the uh, P-Channel Enhancement Mode MOSFET switch. We're going to use the uh, BS250. The ones that I have are in the E-Line package right there. And I don't think I realized that when I bought them from uh, DigiKey. But in uh, any case, they uh, pretty much work just like the TO92 package. So now I have the uh, pin layout on there and the flat but wider side is the back. We have a uh, narrower flat side on the front with a little edges on there and uh, there is the uh, wider flat back. Hopefully you can see that. So the uh, left slot is one, then we got two and then three. I'm going to uh, put this in here. So if you're unsure for any reason and uh, it was locked down. If you're unsure for any reason of the pin layout, you can just put it in a component tester like this, hit test, and it will automatically test it. So, especially if you're just starting out, I really recommend a, a tester like this. It also does resistors and stuff. But in any case, there you can see pin number one over here, it's on the uh, left. It was that, uh, you can see it's curved there. That's the drain, pin two the middle pin is the gate, and then pin three is the source. And I think that's probably the gate capacitance. It's kind of like a capacitor, it builds up a charge, and uh, can even store a charge. It doesn't work on current flow, other than charging it, and I'm pretty sure that that is the voltage, 3.3 volts, and I think that would be in the negative, but uh, I think that's the voltage it needs to uh, saturate completely on. So. We're going to uh, pop this out and get to the circuit as a switch. So, we're still looking at the little smaller uh, flat side there. The right pin is the source. In this circuit, we want the source directly to the positive supply. Now, you notice here I wrote VDD. Last video I did was with the uh, N channel enhancement mode MOSFET, the 2N7000. I wrote VCC. And uh, that's okay, you might see that, but uh, VDD is uh, more accurate. You could also just put 5 volts, that's what we're going to use, 5 volts. But in case, the uh, source is going to go to the positive supply. So I'm going to put it over here so we can see everything. So top pin there is the source, middle pin the gate goes to that jumper to the switch, and then we have the drain down at the bottom. So we're going to use... This schematic symbol for the circuit here's another common schematic symbol and this one is just a flip like that where the uh, source is on top you kind of rotate the pins as needed to fit into the schematic the gate could be off to the right for instance uh, but in any case here are two common ways to show the uh, schematic symbol and there's tons of different ways to show it. There's no universal way that uh, you have to do when it comes to MOSFET. So that's a little confusing, but uh, it is what it is. So now, the gate, as I said, builds up charge like a capacitor, but that determines the conductivity. So we don't just want a switch that goes to ground or open, it will hold that charge. And so we can actually look at that now. We'll put the load on here. So I accidentally put the LED here to the uh, drain. I'm going to uh, put the uh, resistor. Really, order doesn't matter too much. But so now this is going to the drain. It's going to the uh, bottom pin right there. And I'm going to go up one row from this gray jumper. And now I'm going to add the LED in series. Longly, the anode still heads up towards the drain that connects to the resistor. Shortly, the cathode is going to ground. So right now, it is on. This is a normally off uh, component, though. That's why it's enhancement mode. You need a signal to uh, turn it on. But we have that capacitive effect. And so you can see that uh, when things kind of changed a little, the brightness of the LED. So I can give it signals with my body. Now, we're going to take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and pull up. The voltage so that will hold it off 
put it in the uh, off state right there and so now you can see if I pull this it stays off now my body though will still give a signal through a resistor that's why I held it over over there so you can see the capacitive effect but in any case now we have it held high the transistor is off and uh, we got uh, the button here the gray jumper here going to the uh, negative rail down there typically we consider that ground and uh, hit the button and now it's on so it's a switch on off switch right there so I'm going to take out the 10,000 ohm resistor it's a very common value for a pull up pull down resistor I'm gonna replace it with a 10 million ohm so that's M for mega 10 million and you'll see that it actually works uh, decently well so that's gonna be pull up except for my body can give it a signal to the uh, resistor whereas with the 10 kilo ohm we didn't have that problem now we connect to ground so it's working just fine like this as long as I don't touch it so you can go higher than 10,000 ohms but if you go high enough then you know a stray signal might be able to uh, set it off but there you can see I can touch the resistor 10,000 ohm resistor it holds the transistor off uh, quite a bit better than the 1 million ohms when it comes to my body given a false signal so in any case hopefully you found all of that interesting this went on a little bit longer than I expected this is my quick video series so these are all topics to look into in more detail just I find it fun just to build circuits before really studying them so I even have more to study on uh, this component and uh, so that's it for this video make sure you check out one of the other ones I'm posting click like subscribe the bell and uh, all that click uh, donate to patreon if you can I will see you in the next video